Some call it the story of the hero of Hyrule, we call it a gigantic, goofy sandbox. We've had a bit more time with Tears of the Kingdom, and we wanted to share some of our new advanced tips and tricks with you. Let's take a look. Tired of getting kicked in the face every time you try to tame a wild horse? <laughs> Worry no longer. Fuse a white choo-choo jelly to your arrow and freeze the horse right in its tracks. Then you can approach without worry and hop on as soon as they unfreeze. This method will cost you an arrow, a material, and probably most of your soul, but hey, worth it, right? Yep. <laughs> Wings are some of the coolest Zonai devices, undoubtedly. However, you need a railed platform to launch one. Or do you? Ultra Hand and Recall come to the rescue. Thanks to our resident wiki genius Brendan Graber's hit tweet, we now have a way to launch these from anywhere. After attaching some fans, Ultra Hand the wing up into the air and hold it there before setting it back down. Then hop on, recall it, and as it starts to move upward, strike the fans or the wing itself to send it forward. This will keep the wing off the ground long enough to go forward far enough to clear the platform. Then the sky is yours. A quick addendum to this tip, wings will eventually disappear after going a certain distance, even if you're standing on them. A way to circumvent this distance restriction at the cost of multiple wings is to jump off before it disappears, activate your paraglider, take out a new wing from your inventory, and then drop right onto it. Rinse and repeat. Recall and Ultra Hand are two great tools on their own, but combining them really unlocks their potential. Having trouble crossing a gap, Ultra Hand a platform or object across it, bring it back to your side, hop on, and then recall it. This will move Link most of the way, if not all the way across gaps, and can be a great way to speed up traversal. The same goes for vertical cliffs. Yes, you can normally climb a lot of these, but an elevator can be faster or be used to bring something with you. It's also very useful when the climbing surface is wet or iced over, and it doesn't even have to be a standard platform. If you have a nearby tree, you have an elevator. It's a meme for sure, but it's a meme for a reason. If you can't figure out how to get from A to B, you can always build a very, very long bridge. Tears of the Kingdom not only allows, but encourages this kind of outside-the-box thinking. And what can be more outside-the-box than the simplest thing you can imagine? A bunch of boards stuck together with magic glue. Bonus points when you combine it with a recall trick from the previous tip to make your super long bridge a super, super long bridge. With the array of tools you're given right from the start, it's easy to forget that some items are incredibly useful on their own. Muddle buds, dazzle fruits, and puff shrooms in particular can completely change encounters, and all of them can be found in the depths. Muddle buds confuse enemies they hit, so they're great for crowd control when being attacked by groups, or getting a boss monster to briefly attack the smaller mobs. Dazzle fruits stun enemies briefly, but they do a host of other things as well. For instance, they'll instantly disarm enemies, meaning you can simply run up and take whatever they had. They'll also immediately unhorse bacoblins, which is both useful and just intensely funny. Never gets old. Puff shrooms will temporarily blind all enemies in the area with a smoke screen. Simply block a strike after fusing a puff shroom to your shield and blind the bad guys. This gives you a chance to either attack from behind or run away from the situation. Using muddle buds, Dazzle Fruit, Puff Shrooms, and many more items will drastically tip battles in your favor. Speaking of fusing things to your shield, at first thought, attaching explosives to the thing Link holds in front of his face seems like a terrible idea. But fusing bomb flowers or explosive barrels to your shield actually protects you from the explosion while blocking. Like the Puff Shroom before it, bombs will detonate when enemies strike your shield, blowing themselves up in the process. And the utility doesn't end there. After fusing an exploding device to your shield, if you shield surf with it, it will launch you into the air, creating an AoE explosion on the ground, and an opportunity for a mid-air slow-mo shot. The explosive fun doesn't just stop with shields, either. Fusing explosive barrels or bomb flowers to your weapons as well is a great way to do major damage and clear out groups. If you have a weapon that's about to break, or one that's particularly easy to throw, like a spear, don't be afraid to attach whatever may blow up in the area to it. It can be a great way to either start or finish engagements, and it requires you to be a bit more adaptable, which is always when we've had the most fun. Yeah.
If you'd rather save your shield durability than actively use it to blow up bad guys real good, keep in mind that you don't need to fuse Zonai devices to shields to use them. Attaching a flame or beam emitter to your shield might be the easiest way to use them, sure, but you can just as easily whack these to activate them, and then pick them up with Ultra Hand to create the projectile weapon of your choice. Also, keeping fire at a distance is often a good idea. Safety first, kids. Most projectiles that enemies throw can be recalled back at them. This is obviously the most fun to do with anything that explodes, but it works on things like rocks as well. And since time briefly stops when using recall, it's not hard to do either. Just wait for it to leave their hand and then send it right back. Although keep in mind, this doesn't mean it will always hit them. They can still always move after chucking things at you. This is especially useful when taking down one of the many Stone Talus mini-bosses, as the rocks will temporarily stun them, giving you a free moment to ascend up into their main body, gross, and then get some shots in. This isn't quite as exciting as turning your shield into a weapon of mass destruction, but take advantage of sorting your inventory. Whether you're throwing something at an enemy directly, or fusing it to an arrow, pressing Y while holding up will let you sort by most used, Zonai devices, type, or highest fuse damage. You will acquire a ton of things over the course of this massive adventure, so make it a bit less cumbersome and remember to sort when necessary. Shield surfing, scientifically, is one of the coolest things you can do in Tears of the Kingdom, but unless you're on sand or snow, it will degrade your shield very quickly. Fuse to the rescue. You can fuse Zonai device carts or even regular mine carts to your shield to extend the durability and go faster on particular terrain. For a full breakdown of the specifics of shield surfing, we've already got you covered with our 5 shield surfing tips that you can find on IGN.com. Honestly, we could keep going with more pro tips forever, but this video has to end at some point. And 12 more cool tips were probably discovered while I was typing out this conclusion. We hope you check out our full strategy guide and interactive map on IGN.com for all the latest updates on Tears of the Kingdom, and if YouTube is more your speed, we've got you covered with the aforementioned shield surfing tips video. For anything and everything Tears of the Kingdom, you're already in the right place. IGN. <laughs>